Welcome to Kingdom Metalworks. So today we're going to continue shaping the catwalk panel and I'm going to put a little bit more curvature on the front of this to flick this up just a hair more and so we're going to stretch in this area here on the reverse direction on the wheel. So let me set my pressure. There we go. So I have a little bit of pressure on there. So what I'm actually going to be doing, as I'm stretching in this section, running backwards and forwards, I'm going to stagger my mark so that I don't leave a hard line. At the same time, I'm going to give it a little English pulling up and maintaining that this side stays nice and level. The reason I'm wheeling it upside down is because I want this to be relatively flat for dropping over. Uh, I don't want a whole bunch of shape in here. If I was to wheel it up this way, I would start getting a crown of shape in here. So to keep it nice and flat through here as it drops over into the nose section, this comes into a hood section, um, I'm going to wheel it reverse manner upside down, utilizing my wheeling line so I don't go into the no strike zone. So let's get started. So right now I'm going to uh, <clears throat> stretch up on the edge. Come all the way up to the line. That way it ensures me nice and even. As I said, long and short strokes, so I break up the hard line so that it uh, doesn't suddenly come in too much. As you can see, the panel's going real nice, real steady. It's a slow process because with a lot of material, we're just stretching out. I'm using the number five radius wheel. It's got about a half inch to five eighths flat in there, right in the center. And then it drops over just enough. That broad band of wheel <clears throat> enables me to stretch up quite a piece of material at one time. Notice I'm <clears throat> stretching on the edge, working my way into the panel. So once I stretch that edge out, I can then stretch further into the panel. Just keep that nice and constant. And it's causing pressure to come into this section here. And it's also giving it a nice little roll over, as you can see. It's starting to come over more and more and more. And the more this comes over, the more it throws this end down. And so the catwalk or the return curve gets deeper and deeper and deeper. So now I've put a little on this area here. We've got a little uh, shaping on the back there. Don't want too much because I want this to be relatively flat and this dropping over. So it's all under control. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come to the small English wheel. <clears throat> it's got the urethane band on it. The urethane band is nice. It's uh, just a band you slip on the top wheel. It's a nice thickness. So it <coughs> really does a great job. It doesn't rib the panel too much. <clears throat> and what I'm looking at is I'm going to conform the panel to the shape I need which is basically a number four. Right in there is about the number four. As you can see, spin it around, there's the number four coming through. <clears throat> so I want to uh, make sure and ensure that my panel is coming into a number four. So I go to a number three radius. If I had a number four in there, it would start touching on the edges and ribbing the panel. 
<clears throat> I don't want to do that. I want it to be nice and smooth. And uh, so we've got a number three in there. It's a full radius, no flat top in the center, uh, because those are the wheels that work really well with the urethane wheel. So let me just come around here. And what I'm going to do is just gently run this in from one side to the other, just to gently put in some more curvature. And as I run backwards and forwards, keeping my strike marks nice and close together, it will just gently roll that panel over. And the great thing about the urethane band is it changes the English wheel from being linear stretch to linear form. So it's not actually stretching anything, it's just forming it. It's just putting more bend in it in one direction. Whereas without the band on, the metal wheels coming together with the panel in the middle give you two directional stretch, which is linear stretch. So we're just rolling the panel backwards and forwards, keeping it nice and even, just so that we can get a good reading of the panel. So now we're our, coming back from our lower section, which was our number three, to a number one stage, which is our top section again, putting the shape in, just a little bit at a time. I want it to be nice and even. I don't want to rib it too much because I want a good reading on the uh, sweep when I dial it in. Coming all the way down to my line so that I can uh, get a nice even strike just before the return curve. So this is just the beginning stages. This is a process. We're going to be going through these processes and through these stages numerous times. And I'm just going slow and methodical. So as you can see, by me running through there, I've put a considerable amount of curvature to the panel. And we haven't changed our drop over, it's still going nicely. <clears throat> so now I'm going to transfer into the return curve. Before I do that, I'm just going to check just to see where we are with our profiles. How are we looking? As you can see, it's starting to come in. It still needs to come over more. <clears throat> still needs to be to our number four radius, which we are, are not there yet. But I don't want to rush into it. As you can see, we're pretty close to a number four through there. It's easier to see on the back side with the black against the silver. You can see that that's really coming in nicely. So that means that <clears throat> I'm moving the right direction. So let's wander over to the toolbox. We're going to grab our uh, phenolic block. <clears throat> or as we call it in England, the old jabber rock. And I'm going to do the same procedure as I did in the previous videos. So I'm going to lay cloth on gives me a nice soft means to be able to put a little bit more flex and roll so I'm going to flex and roll between these lines with a little down pressure and then I'm going to move across a little bit more to roll it less and less as I get towards the front section because the front section is on the taper so it's less roll needed here and a broader roll needed there as this all comes in I'm starting to deepen the shape of my catwalk like I say I don't want to rush this because I want it to be nice and smooth a nice contour
There we go. So you can see now I've deepened it considerably. It's coming through. And what's happened is it's become a curve that's relatively flat. So now I'm coming back into my third stage. I'm now going to stretch some material through here to give this a little bit of a throw over, which will transfer into this, giving this a little bit of a transfer. So let's try our sweep on, see where we're at. So as you can see, we are starting to get closer and closer. And I'll probably make up another little uh, sweep on the next video so that I, I've got one that goes continuous all the way across so that I can maintain that. Right now, I'm just making it easy for myself using the one that we had from the previous class. And then we'll check this one as well, just to see where we're coming in. So we're starting to get the idea of where the shape needs to be. The sweep sits better over here, but it needs to sit here, which means I need to roll this up more and I need to throw this over more. <clears throat> so having said that, I'm now going to go on my third stage, like we talked about, and I'm going to stretch it up just a hair more in the uh, full-sized English wheel. I'll we'll dial up the pressure just a hair. <clears throat> Stretching on the edge. This time I'm running all the way through. And I'm going all the way up to my line. And you want to make sure that you stretch all the way up to the line <clears throat> and just linger a little bit because that's going to stretch your material out. Just a nice casual flow and go. You start seeing the uh, shape of the panel coming in. A little English, like I said, stretching towards the edge. So now that I stretched in here more and we rolled this over more, you can see that this hasn't got as much drop. It's almost as much, but not quite. So now I need to stretch in this section a little bit more. Notice how this is evened out nicely because I stretched in here deeper. And so as it stretches the material here closer to the line, it straightens out this edge that gets super stretched. If you don't stretch the edge first, trying to stretch in here uh, is going to be very difficult to achieve. So it's all under control. I'm going to stretch a little bit more on the edge. Dial my pressure up just a hair. Coming through again. A little bit more on the front. Making sure that I do my staggers. into the line, not running over the line because that's our no strike zone, doing a little English on it just to control the panel, now you can see it's throwing it over just a little bit more. It's just a procedure. We're throwing it over more. We're straightening through. As you can see where I put a little bit more stretch in here, it's now given us a little bit of a wavy line back in here. So now I need to come back in a little tighter all the way through to the line to stretch this material out <clears throat> to take care of all the difficulties there. Working my way in. <clears throat> like I say, we're putting a little English on it so that the panel knows exactly 
where I want it to go rather than where it wants to go. Now we're going to uh, check it out with our sweep just to see where we are with our shaping. And you're noticing it's coming in more and more. The sweep is actually able to move it, it was here, and now I'm able to get it across a little bit more. So we're getting closer and closer to our valley. I don't want to flick this up so much that it's out of control. It's coming in nicely. And now you notice that the shaping is coming into our valley a little bit more. So now we've taken care of this, we're gonna come back to this stage. So that will be our first stage again. We're gonna crown some shape in. Anyways, I'll do that in the next video. If you've enjoyed the information on the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.